it's the beginning of day 20. I just got back from the cinema, you know, midnight showing of the menu. And I just thought I'd talk about it. You know, it's going to be my day 20 video. You know, I'm feeling okay. Um, when I got back, as soon as I got up, I felt like a, a cramp, but in the front of the bottom of my leg. It's very strange, but that's what I've been feeling the past few months. So it's not even just due to fasting. But anyways, I went to see the menu. It's I could I could actually watch it during my fast because it is not about food the way you think, you know? There's nothing really in that movie that's gonna say, Oh, I'm hungry, I wanna go get that. Because uh Ah, nah, I don't want to spoil the movie. Damn, so I can't even talk about this. But, long story short, I said I wasn't going to watch that movie till day 21. It's day 20. I watched it at the beginning of day 20. It did not make me say I want to eat. I'm about to break my fast. But there is something that's there is something in my house that has been triggering me. And I finally figured out what it was. Okay. When my uh, co-workers came over my house, that was Friday night, right? Um, I gave them that tuna, right? So they opened up the can of tuna. So they drained it in my sink, okay? But they did not wash my sink out, you feel me? So being that it's a clear liquid, I don't see it when I look in the sink. You know, I just see like water shit in there. I don't, I don't know what it is. But I kept smelling tuna in my house. And every time I would smell it, I'd be like, maybe I should break my fat, man. I just want to eat some tuna, and then I'll be, you know, I'll, I'll be like, shit go through my thought, my head, you know, little thoughts like that. You know what I'm saying? And I just be like, and then at, at some point yesterday, when I walked past my front door area in my kitchen, I could smell tuna. And I was like, that can is in a trash can, and my trash can does not let odor out. So... I couldn't figure it out, but just a few minutes ago, I went to I went to my sink to fill up my water bottle, and I smelt it like very strong, and that's when it finally hit me. There was tuna residue in my sink, and that's what I was smelling the past day, and that's what's been triggering me, you know. So yeah, of course I clean that out now. I feel a lot better. I feel a lot more positive as of right now about continuing my fast. But I am, you know, around that day 21 mark. I have thought about breaking my fast. And then continuing. But every time I think about it, I say, so you're going to break your fast a couple of days before Thanksgiving. Then you're not going to eat on Thanksgiving, Black Friday, all that. I think about shit like that. So, for now, just as it was in the beginning, it's still day to day. And I'm going to just keep pushing. One of the reasons the, fr uh, the front of my leg, I it's weird, I can't remember the name of the muscle right now. The shin, but the, I, don't, I forgot the name of the muscle. The One of the reasons I, I'm figuring it's probably hurting as soon as I got out of the movie theater and all that was that I use the steps, which is a big no-no for me. At first, it was like, I'm just going to use it to go down the steps, right? But then I was like, well, I parked on the second floor of the parking garage. So I could take the steps, right? But at the theater that I went to, it's like one, two, three, four, to get up to the second, the second story. And being that it was late at night, I wasn't trying to get on the elevator. I just feel like I could get robbed like that. So I took the staircase, which is probably more risky technically. But anyways, long story short, not, it wasn't a smart idea. I didn't use a lot of energy. I didn't run up the steps, but I just got to conserve. I just got to conserve and keep pushing, you know. But that's all I got. Yo, Shibuya American African. The menu is an interesting movie. I enjoyed it, but it's not what you might expect it to be. If you're the type of person you don't like watching trailers, I would say go watch it. It's worth the watch. Even actually, not nah, the trailers don't even spoil the movie. So it's a very interesting movie, especially if you're a foodie, or even if you're not a foodie but you like to eat out, 
or maybe you're one of those people like me, you leave Yelp reviews at, on restaurants and all that shit. I think it's a dope movie, y'all. Uh. So, yeah, check it out. Peace.